welcome to World of Haze with me, Amy Kitudo. As usual, I am here to update viewers of DMC all around the world with the latest news and activities that were organized by some of the meditation centers worldwide. Let's go rejoice in these mirrors together. The Middle Way Meditation Institute arranged a one-day meditation retreat for 33 Vietnamese business persons at Wapatamagai on June 10, 2016. This was a chance for foreigners who were interested to seek inner peace to meditate and study Dhamma. The teaching monk introduced to them basic meditation for self-practice and self-development. In addition, they had other activities such as visiting the temple, which was closely guided by the teaching monk and the staff. The participants revealed that this retreat benefited them and impressed them very much. Lastly, before the retreat was over, the participants took some group photos together with the teaching monks as souvenirs. For more information about the Middle Way Meditation Institute and their meditation retreats, please visit www.mdwmeditation.org. Wapatamagai Guma in Japan arranged a meditation retreat for locals from June 17th to June 19th, 2016. There were eight different meditation sessions during this retreat. There were four Japanese persons participating in this retreat, and three of them had been ordained in the recent Japanese Damatai Yat ordination program. All the participants prayed, did morning chanting, exercised, offered meals to the monks, ate Thai food, meditated, listened to Dhamma, and prayed in the evening chanting together. Each of them had good meditation experiences where they reached the peaceful feeling and were able to steal their minds. This made them feel happiness from the meditation. All of them understand more about Dhamma principles and will continue to meditate at home as well as coming to meditate at the Japanese Meditation Center in the future. On the evening of Friday, June 17, 2016, most of Nortisaro from the Thai Buddhist Meditation Center of Japan taught meditation for Japanese people at Juenji Temple in Shinshuku, Tokyo, Japan. This activity is held every month. After the evening chanting, the teaching monk introduced basic meditation and then meditated with everyone for 30 minutes. Later, they talked about the ways to adjust their minds, their inner experiences, and why they were interested in meditation. One of the participants joined this activity for the first time. His mind was wandering, confused, and distracted. He wanted to free his mind from thinking and wanted to let go. Another participant participates in this activity every month. He says that he loves meditation because it makes him calm as he is always bad-tempered many times during the day, so this makes him feel bad for himself. He thanked the teaching monk for the valuable suggestion that whenever he knows that his temper is bad, he should forget it as soon as possible and start to do only good things again. The teaching monk summarized that there are many things happening in their daily lives. They may want to forget some bad things, but they can't. They may want to let them go, but they don't know how to do it. This is because the untrained mind is like tissue paper. It is ready to absorb all things. Meditation is a way to train the mind to be smarter and choose to memorize only good things. It will yield good fruits when the practitioner does it regularly and it helps you to let yourself go. On Saturday, June 18, 2016, the Dhammakaya Meditation Center, Scotland, hosted the Father's Day event. The event started at 3 p.m. local time. At the event, there was a Lord Buddha's biography exhibition and the four pilgrimage sites, which includes the Lord Buddha's birthplace, the place of his enlightenment, the place where he delivered his first teaching, and finally, the place of his death. The event received great attention from the locals and the Thais, where there were a total of 26 attendees. Later, the instructor monk led the English meditation session. He also gave a sermon about the roles of parents and children. Then the attendees joined to write Father's Day cards. After that, everyone lit the candle to commemorate their fathers, some of which have passed away. The representative, Mr. Tommy Sanderlin, received the candle from the venerable monks and passed it on from one person to the next. 
Once all the candles were lit, the attendees gathered in the center of the ceremony and placed their candles there. Everyone joined to take group photos together after the candle lighting ceremony. Before the event concluded, the instructor man handed out the holy thread to all the attendees as a souvenir. Everyone was happy and expressed their interest to participate in future meditation events. The alms offering ceremony in Amsterdam has been organized continuously for the past two years. This year marks the third alms offering ceremony and it occurred on Sunday, June 19, 2016 in Amsterdam, the Netherlands. The attendees are mostly people from the Thai communities and the locals. The alms offering ceremony started at 9.30 a.m. and the ceremony took place in front of the Baijin Korf department store. The ceremony was opened by Mos Rong Bu Prate Puti Mongkon, the abbot of Puttalam Temple in the Netherlands, and Mos Rong Jom Leun Kem Wiro of Putta Wihan, Amsterdam. It was also an honor to have the Vice Secretary, Ms. Nak Supang Posayanon, the representative of the Thai Council of the Netherlands, attending the alms offering event. The alms offering ceremony was made possible with the collaboration of supporters of the Dumakai Benelux, Belgium, the Netherlands, and Luxembourg. The aim of the alms offering ceremony, aside from engaging in a Buddhist conduct to commemorate the Lord Buddha, is to portray a good image of the Thai people and to set a good impression of Buddhists. In addition, the event also brought revenue to the city of Amsterdam through tourism. Most importantly, this fostered unity between the monk communities, not only to the Thai temples, but to the Laos and Cambodian temples as well. The temples are the spiritual refuge for the Buddhists overseas. In addition, the dried food and the processed food received from the alms offering will be donated to the participating temple so that these may be used during the Buddhist Lent season. On Monday, June 20th, 2016, Mr. Takano, the owner of Vayu Massage Shop in Nakameguro, Tokyo, Japan, invited the teaching monks from the Thai Buddhist Meditation Center of Japan to teach Dhamma and to lead meditation. He does this every month, and this is the 20th time that this meditation session is organized. After evening chanting, Mos Vernal Tisalo taught them to determine what they should or should not do. It is based on the effects from their action. If it makes the doers and others suffer, and it was done without kindness, it should not be done because it will bring troubles and problems. Mind without any meditation is like tissue paper. It is ready to absorb everything. Meditation is a way to train your mind to be orderly. Your mind will choose to remember only the good things. It will yield good fruits when you meditate regularly. It will affect your mind not to take something in. You will know yourself better both good and bad habits. After they meditated together for 30 minutes, they revealed that their minds were calm and they felt the time went by very fast. On the weekend of June 18th to June 19th, 2016, the Dumakai International Meditation Center in Azusa, California organized the Middle Way Weekend Meditation Retreat for locals for them to come and take part in various activities organized by the Middle Way Meditation Institute. This retreat attracted over 30 people who were interested in meditation and learning about the middle way technique as well as universal goodness. Activities included meditation practice, wisdom talk, bubble blowing, exercising, learning about universal goodness and applying it through workshops and etc. All the participants enjoy being a part of this retreat because they got to learn about the importance of meditation and how to find the middle way. They also got to ask the monks questions about their meditation experiences and discuss any obstacles or difficulties they face while meditating. Since this retreat took place on Father's Day, there was a special activity for fathers as well. It was a peaceful and fun retreat for all and all had good meditation experiences from this retreat. When the retreat was over, the participants went home with certificates of completion as well as new knowledge about meditation and universal goodness. Everyone went home happy and hoped to be a part of the next retreat that will be organized at the Dumakai International Meditation Center in Azusa, California. 
And those were just some activities that was organized by some of the meditation centers located throughout the world. And now it's time for the quote of the week by Pratyabhya Mahamuni Rongpa Tamashiyo, who is the abbot of the Dhammakaya Temple and the president of the Dhammakaya Foundation. The joyful heart. Meditation allows us to stay calm and joyful while living amongst troublesome people. With a stabilized mind, we can have a new perspective of the world, despite the fact that nothing else has changed. This is because our mind has evolved towards a greater firmness. We will become more open-minded to other people. The surrounding world will appear to be more cheerful, which pushes us to smile easily. Like flowers that blossom with the nourishment of water, our minds will be joyful with the practice of meditation. This was said on December 11th, 2005. And that's all the time we have for this week. Stay tuned here on World of Peace next week for more news and activities that will be organized by some of the meditation centers worldwide. Don't forget to follow the World of Peace news via the Facebook fan page at Dhammakaya Post. And as for today, I would like to say goodbye and I will see you again next week. Swadi